Turtles have this innate charisma. There's something deep and wise about turtles. I think humans can also maybe connect with their, their inherent fragility. It's an animal that carries its, you know, its, its house on its back. In, in many cultures, that's how they're perceived. The turtles carry the earth on their back. Sea turtles globally all face similar threats, ranging from fisheries to ship strikes to plastic pollution and much more. Arguably the most endangered population of sea turtles on the planet of all species. It's the Eastern Pacific leatherback and they've declined by over 99% in the last 30 years. So it's mission critical for them. You can say with certainty without interventions and improved management of marine habitats, all turtles, all populations are, are at risk. What we're seeing in turtles is indicative of what's happening to the ocean in general. Our mission is really to figure out ways to address and reduce and mitigate against threats to sea turtles in the open ocean. We know it's impossible to tag every turtle in the sea and to do that all the time. With the data we obtain from these turtles, um, the, the environmental data we extract from their positions, we can develop statistical models to predict where and when turtles are occurring in near real time. I think the answer is really complex. There's no silver bullet with sea turtles. What I always tell people is learn as much as you can, you know, become familiar with the world around you. And I think just being compassionate. Try and exercise empathy towards other living things. And guess what I would say is if you want to do something to help conserve the world's sea turtles, I'd encourage you to support Upwell's work and the work of our partners on sea turtle conservation research worldwide.